So now that we've created some SQL jobs, let's look at how we can monitor uh, whether they're running or not and how well they're running. So I'm going to expand my SQL Server agent and under jobs I have this job activity monitor. If I click on the job activity monitor, this is going to show me all of the jobs that I have defined. So it's going to show me the name of the job, whether the job is enabled or not, if it's currently running, and notice the status of all these are currently set to idle. When it was last, you can see right here, last run, if we can expand that out, last run outcome. So these two haven't run yet, but my, expand this out, my log backup last completed successfully. Uh, same with my system policy purge and my little test job that I made in a previous video on creating SQL uh, server agent jobs. That actually uh, completed successfully. And then it will also tell me over here what the, so what the last run outcome is, when it was last run, when it's scheduled to run next, what category it is. And so when we looked at creating that test job, we saw how we could do some categories and that becomes convenient here because it allows us to group things together sorted by category so we can view our jobs, similar related jobs at the, uh, right next to each other. Whether it's runnable, whether it's scheduled, and then over here we're running out of room again. In fact, we're running way out of room. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And then here is a category ID. So using this, so let's say I wanted to dive into one of these jobs a little bit further. So my log backup was completed successfully. It was my last backup to be completed successfully. So I'm going to double click and the general page will show me the general information about the job the steps that the job does, when it's scheduled, if there are any alerts associated with it, if there are any uh, notifications, and what target it is. So this will show me the status of the job by double clicking on it I get to explore the job a little bit farther. So that is your job activity monitor which allows us to very easily track and monitor the status of all of our SQL jobs, whether they were created here or as part of a database maintenance plan.